Hey guys, so I will put the more valuable cards to the side. We're going to go ahead and we'll open, uh, we're going to do Fat Pack Wars with these booster packs, Innistrad versus, and we'll have that for tomorrow. Otherwise, we're just going to open a quote unquote Fat Pack right now and see what we get. So let's zoom in a little bit and see what we get. Hopefully a Planeswalker. These packs feel a lot fatter than regular packs. I don't know why. Yeah, they feel a lot fatter. There's something like fat in the pack. Okay, there's like a tip card in land. Fodder, love the original art. Dark, dabbling. Blood, bloodlust, Jailer, Jailer is pretty good. Aeronaut, Visionary, welcome back Visionary, one of my favorite cards. Something, Might of Masses, Avon, so we got our Avons back. This is pretty good, a one. Tormented, interesting card. So as an additional cost to cast Tormented, sacrifice a creature, target play discards a number of cards equal to that sacrifice creature's power. So it would be very good with that 5-5 five five that doesn't really do anything. Ooh, Call of the Four Moon uh, for Innistrad. Really good card. Blightcaster, crazy card. Oh, and we get, our, we get a Painland, so okay. I totally forgot the pain lands are in this set, but we go ahead and we pick up a pain land. So I'll put these off to the side here. And an enemy pain lands of all, you know, all type of cards you could get. Jailer. A lot of these are uh, same cards. Chandra removal is very good, and especially this type of removal that can also deal damage to the... Oh, I mean it's removal and damage. I think, what was that other Chandra card that could, Chandra Blaze or something? Alchemist Vile, Gather the Pack, uh, Spell Mastery, oh yeah, this card's pretty good. Reveal the top five cards of your library, put a, you may put a creature card from among them into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard. Knightly Valor, a lot of enchantments in this set. And... <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, this is a token, legendary token, and we get another land. Okay. Not really what I'm looking for because I already have play sets of all of these, and you probably should have them too because they're out there. And many, many. There's many, many reprints of this particular one. I do feel like the Shivin Reef is worth a little bit more money than the other ones. Night Snare. Demolis. Oh, this card got reprinted. A lot of really good reprints. Visionary is one of my favorite cards in Limited. It's so good. Avon's not bad. Impulse. Oh, two damage target. Oh, this is the Lightning Bolt is card, which is only can target a creature, so we get to see this card. Obviously, in Limited, it is removal, so it is good. Ooh, two lids. If you get multiples of this card, you just win. You just win pre release. Our first multi color card. And Sentinel of Eternal Watts, 4-6 at the beginning of combat at each opponent's turn. Tap target creature. Oh, and we get the... Uh, I know you guys don't like me comparing this card, but it does resemble a card close to Innistrad. So, yeah. So, two... Uh, I wish those uh, Pain Lands were Fist Lands, but... Two lands and one... Very, very bad. I'm just going to say it. It's a bad Snapcaster Mage, and a lot of people go, oh, it's so bad, you can't compare the two. Well, I mean, it costs the same. It's a 2-1. It has some type of uh, ability, and it can give you card advantage. Rapid Bloodsucker. Drake, Reclaim. Wow, Reclaim. Plate. Champion. Oh, this card's very good, actually. Engineer. Wow, what is this? I have not seen this card before. Uh, Trample Ember Mahillion. If another red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one. It's not bad, it's a four or five. It's a pretty good body and limited. Opening packs is just kind of fun. Oh, touch him. Wow, look at the card. Look at the length of this card. Act of Treason is back. Mm, miscreant, empath. Come on, good card. Uh, enters the battlefield. Put 
2-1-1 colorless artifact creatures flying tap on... Oh, so we got, we got a land again. Oh, but it's not like the rare land. Actually, it's an uncommon land. I haven't seen that one. Tap two, untap artifacts you control. Target creature can't be blocked. This card is very good. Four power spread among three different bodies. Two of those bodies have fl having flying and being artifacts. Uh, you get... Wow, okay. Interesting. And... Ooh, this is a bomb. This is a bomb. Flying legendary creature demon. Whenever a permanent owned by another player is put in their graveyard from the battlefield, you draw one card and you lose one life. And it's a 6 6 flyer, so it's all upside in this one. I don't know, limited, that would be very difficult to beat that card in limited. It's card advantage, it's, it has evasion, it's just a bomb. Okay, we got a mage, we got a touch of madness. I'm going to read what that does later. Undead Servant, Drake, Cleric. Ooh, Cleric's pretty good. Got it a pack. Oh, this card is a reprint. <laughs> Nisa, the most expensive planeswalker. Um, yeah, let's, I mean, come on now. Come on, let's take a look at this card. And yeah, I think every card, so you do get these cards in the pack. Maybe you don't get a token, you just get one of these. Princess Nisa comes home, the most expensive card in this set we pulled. Maybe we should give it away, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys want this card? <laughs> Vastwood Seer, two and a green. Whenever she comes into play, you may search your library for a basic forest card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven more land, you exile it, and she becomes a big baddie. Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into your hand. So it is card draw plus explore. Minus two, put a legendary 4-4 green elemental token named Asha the Awoken into the battlefield. So we do have Asha, actually. I wonder if they make packs like this, where they give you like Asha and then they're like, oh, well, we're giving you Asha, so that means that you get... Where is Asha? So we do have the token for this card. It's right here. It is beautiful. Like, it is awesome. I'm pretty happy. We don't really need to open in more packs, but we do have a few more packs left. Maybe we can get a Lily Honor. How sick would it be if we opened Lily Honor of the Veil in the Pack Wars, and then our next pack was Lily Honor? Okay, I haven't seen this card. Interesting. Evolving Wilds is back. Again, Titan Strength, like Rita Bones. Very good card. Very, very good card. Murder Investigation. Skyrake Giant. Not bad, not bad. And we get, oh, it's, it's a foil. These packs feel like a lot bigger. They have more cards in them. It's weird. Relic Seeker, and this is what people are going to call Stoneforge Mystic. Is he Stoneforge Mystic? No, he's not. And we get this card, which is a foil. So pretty, two very good packs. Let's take a look at this card. Relic Seeker, Renown 1. It's not bad. When a Relic Seeker becomes Renown, you may search a library for an equipment card and then put it into your hand. It's kind of Stoneforge. It's a little more aggressive than Stoneforge though, so we will see if it finds a home. Not a bad card to get. We only got one Mythic, but <laughs> it's the most expensive Mythic in the set. These packs do feel different. There's something different about these packs. I'm not, like I can't explain it. I open a ton of packs. I guess when I open Innistrad, oh, this, this card is back. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Foundry is pretty good. And yeah, this card is very strange. At the beginning of your upkeep, you put a 1-1 colorless Fropter artifact creature on the to with flying onto the battlefield whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat. That this card's actually very good. Never mind. Never mind, guys. This card is actually very, very good. Wow. Like, insanely good. It's like Bitter Blossom with that card Coastal Piracy as one card. Oh. It's very good. So last pack. Last pack. Liliana. 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 Negate. 
uh, undead servant, dread waters, some type of pilgrims, sidearm, okay, you can look for this one, shadow of the past, whenever a creature dies, scry one, four, black, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life, oh, that's, that's pretty good, repeat effects are very, oh, this is cost, this is awesome, five damage target creature, but you do have to sacrifice a creature, and one of my favorite knights, oh, and we get one of these, Knight of the White Orchid. 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 Uh, so let's go over what we pulled. Um, and then we'll do Pack Wars after this. So there might be a lot of videos. I don't know if you guys want to do Pack Wars today or tomorrow. It's up to you guys. Knight of the White Orchid. Spy Network. Relic Seeker. I like that card. Or Omi Foil. And you know, hey. Hey, whatever. <laughs> let's take a look at... It looks like Tomb Raider. He looks like Laura Croft. Big fan of Laura Croft. Uh, this card is an absolute bomb and limited. Like, and we get my. Uh, I know people hate when I say that. And we get. So the, the um, it wasn't bad for a fat pack. I mean, you get the most expensive card in the set. And did we make enough money so to cover the cost of this particular um, venture? Probably not. But it was fun to do it anyway. Next, we're going to go ahead and do Pack Wars, Innistrad versus Magic Origins. Coming up next. Bye, guys.